Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am so excited for my first video to be a first trimester Q&A. So I did this over on my Instagram and I thought I'd come and answer them on here for you. Um, hi, I'm Eleanor, AKA Els with Self Love. I can be quite a chatty rambler, so let's get into the video. The first question is, did I have any symptoms to prompt me to take a pregnancy test? The answer is no. So me and my partner uh, decided last year that we wanted to try for our second baby. Um, so I took a pregnancy test as soon as my period was late. Um, I really wouldn't have known otherwise. I found out about four weeks and I didn't get any pregnancy symptoms until about week six. Um, so I really wouldn't have known that I was pregnant. And obviously the most popular question that I think anybody gets when they find out they're pregnant is when your due date and how far along are you? So I am currently on the day of recording this, I am 13 weeks and two days pregnant. Um, and honestly, I don't mind sharing my due date because it's something that is so crazy. So I am due on the 12th of September. Um, and what's crazy about that is my firstborn Archie is born on the 1st of September. So I could potentially end up having my kids be born on the same day like I actually kind of hope not because I don't want to take that special day away from Archie um but you never know I might have them on the same day <laughs> next question is how do I feel in this pregnancy compared to my first these pregnancies have been the polar opposite in my first pregnancy I it was a breeze like honestly it was so easy I didn't really have any symptoms like I really wouldn't have known I was pregnant and actually I didn't find out till 10 weeks other than this period, I had no symptoms whatsoever, no morning sickness, no um, like sore boobs, nothing. This pregnancy, I have found it so tough. I have had sore boobs, I've had morning sickness, I have had the worst tiredness and two really random symptoms. Oh, <laughs> and two really random symptoms were earaches and TMI, but gassiness. I have probably been the most gassy person ever during this pregnancy. So I've kind of already answered this one, but then people asked how I found out. So on day two of being lit on my period, I took a test, literally first thing in the morning, I woke up, ran downstairs, got my toddler sorted out, got him like breakfast and getting ready for nursery. And then I took one because I could not wait. Um, and I was so happy when it said positive because this is really weird, but in my previous pregnancy, I kept taking and taking and taking tests because I wasn't on my period and they kept saying negative. So eventually I had to go to the doctors to find out I was pregnant. Um, so this time round, when I actually took a test and it came up positive, it was the most incredible feeling ever to know that, like to see actually say positive and to be able to show everyone that there was a positive pregnancy test. Um, so I ran up like the stairs to my partner, screaming, crying, shouting. He actually thought something was wrong. And I'm just like, no, I'm pregnant. Like it was, it, it felt so magical and so special to me in that moment. Again, probably one of the most popular questions ever is what are you craving? Actually nothing. In my first pregnancy, I really strongly like really needed pickled eggs. Like I craved pickled eggs throughout my entire pregnancy. Um, and this pregnancy, not really like I'll crave something for a couple of days uh, and then it will go. But I'm like, every time I crave something, I'm like, I wish and pray this is gonna be the thing that I'm gonna crave. Cause I just love the idea of like really strongly craving something like some women really crave, but I haven't had that yet. But fingers crossed that I get that like massive craving for something again. <laughs> What will the age gap for your kids be? So as long as baby doesn't come more than two weeks early, um, the age gap will be five years. So Archie will be five years old when I'm about 38 weeks pregnant. So as long as the baby doesn't come, there'll be a five year age gap. And I actually love that. I think that is a great like age gap. And I think that's actually like really, I'm really happy with the age gap that my kids are going to have. So the next question is, is Archie excited and does he know? So yes, he does know. We kind of told him slowly and him being four, he gets a concept of there's a baby in mummy's tummy and he always points it, points at my tummy and like asks if the baby's okay because um, it's in mummy's tummy. Um, but I think he really is excited. He loves telling strangers mostly that there's a baby in mummy's tummy or that he's going to be a big brother. Um, and he's so used to being around babies and he's so good with them. So it makes me like so excited for him to 
do it with our baby. Um, and he had, like, and I got him a little doll to practice with the little doll, which is so cute. Um, however, the other day when I had my first scan, I was really excited to show him the scan photo because I thought, oh my god, he'll love it. He'll get, he'll really understand. Like he'll be able to see the baby in mummy's tummy, and he was not interested. He did not care. I was like, look, this is the baby in mummy's tummy, and he was like, no. Nope. And he like literally like flick out my hand and was like, no. So I don't think he really cared about that. Um, but I'm really excited for the baby to start kicking and then hopefully I'll can feel that. And I really hope that's going to be um, something that he loves. The last two questions is, will you have another baby and will you find out the gender? 100% we will find out the gender. Um, we did with Archie and I don't know how people do it, but I cannot wait. I'm like, I need to know. The gender i need to know like i can't wait um i won't have a gender reveal party or anything that's not really my thing but i'm having a baby shower um but i definitely want to do something cool to like reveal it to my instagram followers do something maybe like on here is like a cool way to you know post the gender to the world but i'm not quite sure what that's going to be yet and are we going to have another baby i think in life you really have to say never say never but um i don't plan on it like me and my partner both only ever wanted two kids and we agree we, we both only ever wanted that but obviously if it were to happen like if i got pregnant again we would have another baby um but we aren't planning on like having another baby <laughs> So there you go, that is everything. Thank you so much for your questions. And if you have any questions that you want answered, leave them in the question in the comments below. Not the question box, leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you and reply to them. Um thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are and whatever you are doing.